Hi friends, welcome to our new channel Enjoy Science. In this channel, we discuss on different educational topics, some games, puzzles, and some competitive based lectures. Today, we start the series on nomenclature of organic compound. In today's video, we discuss common name of alkanes. So watch the video till the end and answer me the some questions in my comment box. If you are new on my channel then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for the notification of my new videos. Now let's start it. Basically nomenclature of any organic compound is depends on some prefix, word root, and suffix what is word root word root word root is depends on length of carbon chain if one carbon then word root is meth two carbon eth for three carbon prof for four carbon but for five paint for six hex for seven hept for eight oct for nine non for deck c10 deck 11 undeck 12 do deck 13 tri deck 14 tetra deck 15 penta deck 16 hexa deck 17 hepta deck 18 octa deck 19 nona deck 20 icos 21 any icos 22 do cos 23 tri cos 24 tetra cos 25 penta cos and similarly now c30 c30 is tricot then 31 is any tricot 32 do tricot next c40 similarly 41 is any tetracon 42 is do tetracon 50 pentacont 60 hexacont similarly c100 is hect c110 decahect c120 icosohect there are some primary suffix suffixes for carbon carbon single bond is a and e therefore name becomes alkane when there is carbon carbon double bond then name becomes alkene because we use the suffix e and e if carbon carbon triple bond then the primary suffix is y and e and the name becomes alkyne <coughs> some numerical prefixes are also used for 2 di for 3 tri for 4 tetra for 5 penta 6 hexa and so on for example if there are two double bonds then we use di e and e dine if there are three triple bonds then we use tri y and e trine common name of alkanes are depends on the classification of or alkanes alkanes are classified as branch alkane and straight chain alkane branch alkane further classify as isoalkane and neoalkane isoalkane at second carbon there is one ch3 that is methyl group then it considered as isoalkane then we use the prefix iso condition for iso is ch3 ch ch3 this is the condition for iso for example in this example there are total four carbon at second position there is one methyl therefore iso total carbon 4 therefore but all single bond therefore a and e and name becomes isobutane now second neo in neo at second carbon there are two methyl group that is two ch3 groups are present in first example there are total one two three in a straight chain and second position there are two methyl group two ch3 groups therefore at second position there there are two methyl therefore new total carbons are five word root is pent all single bond 
A and E. Therefore, name is new pentane. Second example. In second example, at second carbon, there are two methyl group. Total carbons are six. Therefore, it name as new hexane. Now, normal alkane. That is straight chain alkanes. For straight chain alkanes, the carbon is not bonded to more than two another carbon atoms. There is no branch at any position. For example, in first example, there are total four carbons. There is no branch. Therefore, we use N for straight chain, four but and single bond A and E. Therefore, name becomes N butane. Similarly, second example, total carbons are five straight chain. Therefore, N total carbons for you paint all single bond a and e therefore name is n pentane now some examples in first example total carbons are for you but at second position there is ch3 that is methyl therefore it is iso total carbon for you paint all single bond a and e therefore name is isopentane in second example the total carbons are 6 but at second position there is one methyl group therefore it name as isohexane in next example n pentane because the total carbons are 1 2 3 4 5 therefore it is n pentane in fourth example, total carbons are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. At second position, there are 2 methyl, therefore neoheptane. Fifth is zigzag structure. In this zigzag structure, the total carbons are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, there is no branch, therefore N hexane. At second, in sixth example, at second position, there is one branch, one methyl, therefore it is isooctane. Total carbons are 8. Some examples for you. So, write the answers of these 5 examples in my comment box. And don't forget to subscribe my channel, comment and share. In previous video, we discussed about solving the 2 by 2 Rubik's Cube in beginner's method. It's so easy and exciting. Thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for notification of new videos. Thank you.